This might be a bad idea, but I'm vlogging and ride my bike at the same time. I should have worn more layers. It is so cold right now and the wind is blowing right into my face. Oh man. I hope I get home before the rain starts getting hard. Otherwise, this vlog won't be a, a, a good idea. I hate uphills. Uphills are the worst because it makes you a little bit more tired. Downhill is so much better. You can't go wrong with that beautiful view you're seeing right now. That's the city at night time. That's a pretty cool view. The bridge at night. Oh, the lights light up. One of the worst things you can do if you're on a bike is that if you don't do a bike for a long time, your body becomes so weak that it's not able to handle the pain and the pressure of going up and down and up hills. See, I haven't had to roll my bike in a while home. I've been using a bus more often, it's just not a good idea because you're not be that much active. But if you bike your way back and forth to work every day at home, you'll become so fit and so much healthier than other people are. You can totally tell that I'm almost out of breath because that hill was pretty big. Remember, when you're going down a hill, it's always good to use two hands for your brakes. Because if you use only one brake, you're basically going to, be, going to be using only one part of your bike. It can be easily become such a dangerous thing because your bike can easily flip over and you can crash. Okay, now we're building up speed. It's all downhill from here. Hopefully the cars on the road won't hit me and I'll make it home in one piece. Going downhill is, going downhill is so much fun because you can totally feel the wind blowing in your face. It's a, it's a great adrenaline run. It's much more fun than going up a hill. We're almost home. Still got a little bit more to go, but I want to say that when you're going downhill, it's always good to be cautious about sharp turns. Just because a hill is going down doesn't mean it's going to be straight. And also, be careful when you're riding now because you never know what can pop out of a bush, especially over here in this area. One time I was riding my bike home from work and a Probably a rat or some kind of creature crawled out of the bushes and almost jumped it from my bike, but luckily it moved away before I could run over it. A bike is a great way to commute back and forth every day and stay healthy. And thanks to these bike lanes now, bikes can go on regular roads without being able to, to like be afraid of being hit by a car. But the thing about these bike lanes is that cars will do sharp turns they might end up hit by a car. Another thing you should always do is give yourself a good head gear. Be safe and protect your head, otherwise you could flip over and crash and split your head open like a watermelon. I mean, you might be thinking like, Dr. why are you wearing a helmet? You know, almost up for losers. But you know, the, the rules are the rules, and if you don't follow them, you could end up seriously hurting yourself. I mean, I saw before an old man who was wearing a helmet, hit a curb, flipped himself over 90 degrees, landed right on his head and thanks to this thing he didn't end up getting a concussion or even his head opening up. He, thankfully he was able to walk away without a scratch but if he wasn't wearing a helmet he would have definitely been injured. You should also think about getting yourself a, a, a rear view and a, and a front view light. This one has three modes. It's got a standard mode, it's got the flashing mode, it's got the, the crazy flashing mode and it's got the regular off mode. Having these lights, the front and the back of, of, of your bike, especially over here in the front, see mine hangs like this in the front part, but having these lights alerts other people on the streets, alerts the drivers that you're coming back and forth and then they should watch out for you. Otherwise, like I said before, you might do a sharp turn or go in your way and you could end up being hurt. Another thing good to have is a regular good size bike lock, like this one over here. Here, I'll just show it to you right now. So, pop it open. Make sure that the bike is at a regular bike lock. 
you know, walking station and not on a tree or, or like a pole or who knows what because it can be easily ripped apart and it's not regular locking procedure for, for those bikes with the part I mean like you could walk it to a, but, uh, to a tree but it just looks weird so make sure you have one of these regular like hard to break open locks and these locks are super good because no matter how hard a, a, you know, a criminal might try to steal your your bike you probably can't penetrate through this then you can easily penetrate through a chain or, or one of those coil locks but this one is a little bit different the last thing I want to recommend is Make sure you dress properly. So now, what I'm wearing right now is basically probably not the most best idea because it's nighttime and I'm wearing all black. And the only thing that stands out is probably my helmet color. But you want to dress to be seen because if you're wearing bright colors, drivers and other people on the roads will be able to see you easily and they can totally tell that you're an actual rider and not just part of the background as well as dress for the weather. If it's raining, make sure you wear waterproof type of gear. If it's sunny, make sure you don't overdress yourself so that you're, you know, like, so that you're overheating yourself. And just, you know, be more active and stay safe.